buy any property listed by any agent or sell through Michael and save on legal fees, receive air miles, an aerial tour over PEI, and a set of audio CDs that could change your life. Potentially more than $1,720 in savings. Conditions apply. Email Michael for the details. 114 Wharf Road. It's in Cape Traverse, which is just east of the Confederation Bridge of Route Number 10. It's a probably 140 years plus. It's been renovated numerous times. It's four bedrooms, two bathrooms, detached double car garage. Uh, gorgeous home and for 113,877 that's probably the best feature. Walking distance to a fabulous beach. Welcome to Cape Travers. It's a dead end road. 550 meters. Arrive at address 114 on right. This looks like it here on the right hand side. Arriving at address 114 on right. As the GPS told us, and if you don't have a GPS by now, you're living in the Stone Age. So we are going to attempt to get into the driveway here. The beach is right in front of us there. So this is the uh, double width garage. So this is the view of the house from the deck side or the, the side that's away from the water. So this is a view from the driveway looking across the street which is vacant. It almost looks like it's uh, water or there's a high water table. A view of the front of the house driveway which is a loop and the garage. So we have another little deck area here on the south side as well. Again there's virtually no neighbors right around it. There's the water. So I came in through the front the road entrance to the right we've got a dining room got the stairs leading upstairs all nicely uh, painted and kept Got the main hallway here, and then what looks to be a, a formal dining room here to our left, or toward the water, which would have southern exposure. Again, this is the view from the corner of the formal dining room. It's not a fireplace, it's a mantle. That was the in thing in some of the older houses, to have a mantle with no fireplace. We have some beautiful wood floors that have all been cleaned up. This is the room off the kitchen. So we have sort of a pantry type kitchen. With all these built in cabinets. We've got a stove or oven, stainless sink, and a window. So we just made a very large loop here. This would be the rec room. Yes, you guessed it. This would be the wood stove. So I just went through the rec room and right at the end of the uh, room here is another door which leads to a sunroom which will be in the south side opening up to that little deck I showed you. So we've got a little bathroom here. I don't have any light. It's the other end of the bathroom. So we're going to go up these stairs. The second floor. So I just went up the stairs. I turned right. So this is one bedroom. Fairly large. This is the room beside the other bedroom. So looks like you have a hot water heater here that's electric fired. And then you have a uh, washer and dryer hookup which have been winterized. So this is the upstairs bathroom. With a uh, older style traditional tub. Another bedroom across the hall from the uh, bathroom. Another uh, bedroom, and this would be the final bedroom at the end of the hall, which again is quite large. Nice size rooms. Very good value for the asking price in my humble opinion. Don't get busy here. This is the uh, basement entrance. So it's not very pretty down here. But with my candid videos I show you everything, including what's under the hood. This is a cement wall, so it looks like there has been some improvements done. 
excuse the shaky camera work. There's a sump pump in the corner. And we've got a well pump. Expansion tank. And over here, we have a furnace. Forced air. Typically what would be done here is you would uh, fix this basement up if you ever intended to use it for anything and dig it down, which they've already started to do. Since I was provided with the wrong key to the garage door, I found this one inside, so I'm going to try it out. Wow, I'm glad I found the key for this. This is just huge. It doesn't look like it's insulated, but that wouldn't take much to do. Make a fantastic workshop. Every handyman's dream. So here it is from the other end. And there's a power garage door opener too. So I'm just going to take a drive around the area here. Apologize for the poor quality of the video today. Today is definitely not the best day to be doing video. So to the left there's access to the beach, there's sand dunes, and some of the most expensive lots in the area are right across there to the left. Those lots, we just listed one there for $212,000. So straight ahead is the beach right here. And I do have some photos I took back in 03 that I'll try to dig up. But there's your beach. Picture all this white stuff being blue. And of course, the uh, white stuff in front of us would be brown or red. Thank you very much for watching my video. That's 114 Wharf Road. Make sure you make an offer subject to viewing if you're not on the island. Uh, deals like this do not come along every day. I don't think you're going to find too many houses for under $114,000 with this square footage and access to such a nice beach in such a good location. I've already had inquiries on it and it's only been listed for one day. Thank you. Have a great day.